hi what's up everybody and welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome 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 where have you been all this time anyways i've not posted on this channel for quite uh some time but i'm back with a bang so i am doing a series on friendship and i'm super excited about this series because i've wanted to do it for quite a bit like for several years now but somehow I never came around to doing it. But now I feel like I have gained a lot of experience and I just feel ready to talk about friendship. As we go through this series, it's also a challenge to myself. Some of the things that we're talking about are growth points for me. They should be growth points for you, but also should also help you surround yourself with the right kind of friends. So. I will be your friendship expert. Hello, say hello, say hello, say hello to your friendship expert. Nice to meet you too. Okay. Qualities of a good friendship. First and foremost, I think a good friendship involves give and receiving as opposed to give and take because I think that the take part in give and take is what rocks the friendship into towards negativity. Give and receive, not give and take. Giving and receiving involves someone actively doing something towards their friend, which is giving, and then sitting back and waiting for their friend to do something actively, which is they give and you receive, okay? So it involves action and inaction. You are pretty much in the position of power when it comes to giving. For the sake of power balance, I feel that now you should also take the position of receiving, which puts you out of power. And receiving has that uh, shape of leaning back and having to wait for your friend to do something for you to receive. So that means you're not going to manipulate your friend to give you something. You're not going to take something from your friendship. You have to sit back and wait for your friend to actively give for you to receive. Give and take it has its place, I believe. In a relationship that is not love-based, I think um, give and take can apply because if I'm in business and I have a product, when I give you the product, you better be paying back. If you don't pay back, I'm gonna come and take the payment. So there is a place for give and take, but I feel like the place of give and take cannot be in a healthy friendship. When you find yourself in a friendship where somebody feels like you owe them, because they did something for you, now they're coming, they're coming to ask for uh, a favor. That is not a friendship. That's a completely different type of relationship there. So a good quality friendship involves giving and receiving. If you find yourself in a situation where you're always the one who's giving and you're never receiving, then that upsets the balance. There needs to be a balance in giving and receiving. I should be busy doing everything I can to give towards the friendship and hopefully the friend would receive and the friend should be busy giving towards the friendship and hopefully I would receive. Some of the things that you give in a friendship, I, I believe it's time. We give gifts, we give uh, compliments, we give support. Uh, emotional support, which I think is also a point in uh, a sign of a good friendship. If you feel like you're not supported in a friendship, then it's probably a good point to have a conversation with your friend and not a conversation in the sense of, I've done this for you, so I deserve. My personal opinion is that friendship is not deserved. You can definitely have a conversation with your friend and explain to them how you feel. And it's up to them to change, be more giving, uh, but you don't go asking with a sense of entitlement. 
I don't think entitlement has a place in a friendship. If I'm wrong, I really would appreciate your comments in the comment section below, but I think a healthy friendship would not ever, you would never have to arise to a point where somebody is kind of reminding you of something they did for you, especially when they need something from you. That's give and take. Okay, so, so that I don't spend all day there, the next thing that a uh, good friendship quality of a good friendship is that there is trust. Trust is so important. If there is no trust, if you cannot trust your friend, wh why are you friends? You know, unless it's not a friendship, it's a transaction. You're there to gain something from this friend. You're there to take something. And trust goes hand in hand with respect. Respect has everything to do with boundaries. In friendships, I believe that there should be boundaries. You should not just, uh, just because your friend, your friends or your best of friends doesn't mean that you are allowed into each and every part of your friend's life. So if you draw boundaries, then those boundaries should be respected. So if your friend is showing respect towards the boundaries that you've set, then you probably have a good friendship going. If the opposite is happening, then that's, that could be a problem. So trust and respect. Um, last but not the least, a good friendship has positive communication. And by positive communication, I mean that in this friendship, you feel free to be yourself. If you're in a friendship where you don't have to hold anything back or you don't have to put a a certain part of your uh, of yourself away in order to exist in this particular friendship then you have a good thing going you need to be able to be fully yourself and let's not confuse this uh, with uh, feeling like you have to bear yourself out to a friend because I think um, friends should uh, a good friend a good friend should be able to respect your privacy people have a right to their own privacy and if it doesn't mean just that just because you're friends that your friend should tell you everything that's going on in their life but if they if you want to communicate something if you want to say something or share a part of you and you feel like you cannot do that you feel inhibited then that's probably not a good friendship but a good friendship will let you uh, or a good friend will allow you to be fully yourself without any judgment, without any disapproval or criticism. Um, I think there is more to that list, but I'm going to stop at this point and allow you to also contribute and maybe share a few of the things that you think have not yet covered. And let's get this conversation going. I wish you all the best in your friendships, uh, the ones that you have now and the ones that are there to come. Until next video, tschüss, wiedersehen, kuaheri.